Hello friends. Coming in for our 20 minute a day. We'll be doing some yoga today. I've got lots of energy. Can go, go, go in all day. So let's work out some of that energy. Welcome to the day. Let's see, I need to move you down just a little bit. I'm going to be moving all over the place. So, come into your space and your place. Let's find a moment of connectedness in the heart with the breath. Come into a place of settling with yourself and the day and the week. Woo, we made it. <laughs> Happy Friday, friends. Let's start moving. We're literally going to get right into it. You're probably pretty warmed up. I am too. Inhale, reach those arms up. Reach them up. Look for some extension. And then exhale. Just let them down. Open up just a little bit more here. Shake it up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swoop down. Now let's bring in that side bend. Plant the left, reach that right arm up. Reach it up, find that length. And then lean over to the left. Drop the shoulder. Relax it out. Then come on back over to the other side, shake it out, plant the right, lift the left, reach it up, and then lean on over, shake out that right shoulder, relax it down, find that stretch, then come on back. Let's find that beautiful uh, twist here. Bring that right hand over to the left side, reach up, find that length. Open up that spine. Let it go. Twist on over to the other side. Plant the right. Bring that left over to the knee. Find that twist. Exhale, release. Let's do a couple of cat cows. I'm already warming up. Let's take the sweatshirt off. You might be able to see me a little better now with my skin tone, not mixing in with that dark background. All right, let's come into those cat cows. Just inhale, reach up, look up, exhale, round, drop down. Find your own breath here. Find your own cat cow, arching, stretching. Breathing through the movement. We're going to go right into a tabletop. So from here, make your way on over to your knees. Um, I do like to double up the back. So if that's you too, you want the extra cushion under your knees, go ahead and add that. Come on into that cat cow. Do that same thing right here on tabletop, just lengthening the spine even more. Inhaling up into cow pose. Exhale, drop the chin. Round the back. Add that figure eight if that's what you need. I always do. Let's bring those legs in. Um, bring the left leg up. I'm just going to lean back and then I can pull my left leg up in between. And let's open up those legs. Rocking back and forth. And then drop the knee, come on down back into the tabletop, and then bring your other leg up. However you do that, this one's a little tight, so I'm just gonna move my arm around. Oh, y'all can't see me at all on that side. All right, let's come on up. I'm going to change something real quick on the camera. Give me just a second. I'm going to move you guys. I don't like where you're positioned. 
So come up a little bit higher. Whoa, now you're really high. <laughs> Welcome. There we go. That's going to be a little bit better. All right. Now we can see everything. All right, coming up to your mat, we're going to do some of those sun salutations. Reach up, extend. I still can't see me. I did not do a good job on this camera setting today, folks. Sorry. That's going to be too high. <laughs> Hello. Good to see you right up front. Hi. All right. That's a little bit better. Reach up, come into that extended mountain pose. Find that length. Bend the knees and let's come into that... Um, forward fold, dip them down, really find your way all the way down. Be generous with your body here. And then work it out. Stretch those legs just a little bit. And then drop on down into yourself. Shake it out. If you want, you can add your hands to your elbows and add a little twist here. Or just hang out fully relaxed, but relax the neck. And then slowly find your way up. Just coming up real slow. Be gentle. Gentle with the body. Working our way up. We're going to heat up real quick, friends. Inhale. Reach up. Look up. Find that length. Exhale. Forward fold. Bend the knees. Bring in the prop if you need it. Inhale. Halfway lift. Straight that back. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale, either way you want to come up. I'm doing reverse one dive. Meet me with your hands at heart center. Stay here for a minute, catch your breath. This next time we're going to go down into plank. Again, I realize you're not seeing the front half of my mat. So friends, See if we can't get that open a little more. All right. Inhale, reach up, extended mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Let it go, shake it out. Bring those hands down to the mat, come into plank. Stay here for a breath and then we're gonna go down. Exhale, come down. Find that cobra, point the toes, cobra up. And then we're going to go into downward dog. Find your way up. Tip the hips. Down dog. Work out those legs if that feels good. And we're just going to do that same thing again. So find your way up to the front. Let everything go. Come on back up. Extended mountain pose. Come into that forward fold. Be gentle, drop it out, let it go. Halfway lift, find that length. Drop it down, hands to mat, come down into plank. Stretch it out. On the exhale, come down. Find that back bend wherever you are, I'm a little higher this time. Back up into that down dog. And come on back to stand. Meet you at hands to heart center. All right, friends, let's come into our warrior series. Go ahead and take a step up with your right leg. So right leg is out and bent, left leg is um, with the mat, parallel with the mat. Inhale, come into your warrior two. Roll those shoulder blades back, find that length, adjust the hips, come into our extension. So reach out with, the, or we'll come into the, yeah, reach out with the right, Drop that hand down to the knee. Don't drop the weight and bring that left arm up and over. Bring that extended side angle.
Come on back into Peaceful Warrior. Pull that hand up. Bring this one back. Flip the palm. Drop the left. Scoop it over. Peaceful Warrior. Come on back to that warrior two. We're just going to switch sides by flipping our right, turning the left, and then bend the knee. Warrior two, other side. Now we're on the left. Adjust those shoulders. Adjust those hips. Get your place. Come into that extension first. Reach out with the left. Find your knee. Come on over. Opening up. The whole right side. Activate that core. Lift yourself up. Scoop up. Lift those arms, warrior two. Keep tilting. Drop that left. Flip the palm. Scoop it over. Peaceful warrior. Come on back to your warrior two on the left side. Let's go into... Um, like a forward fold. Bring both of those feet facing forward and fold on down. Shake it up. Let it go. Let's make our way to either side. I'm going to go to the left first. So just walking my hands over towards the left. Great time for a block, which I'm going to use today. on back towards the middle and then over towards the right. Alright, from here come into goddess pose. Drop the knees like a squat and then lift the chest up. You might need to bring the legs in a little bit. I do just to get into that comfortable position. This can be comfortable. Okay, hang here for a minute. Feel the stretch. And let's add um, a little twit, a little side stretch here. So kind of lean over towards the left, reach up with the right, and find that extension. Come on back to the other side, activate that core, find a little support, and then bring that left side up and over. Come on back, let's add a little bit of rest to our ankles, come up on your toes. Come back, let's roll those feet out, roll them out, shake them out. We're going to do a little warrior one. Let's start with the right leg. Right leg forward, left leg back like you're on train tracks. So legs are parallel, both facing forward this time. Adjust the hips. We want them to be going in line with our legs. And then inhale, reach up. Extended. Then we're going to come into an open pose. Send the right arm forward, left arm back. Open up. Find this twist. Shake out those shoulders a little bit. And then inhale, bring the arms back up, and then come in the opposite way. Send the left arm forward, right arm back. See how that feels, the revolved. Bring those hands on back up, and bring yourself some rest. Take a step. <laughs> Shake it out. Other side. Left foot forward, right foot back. Find your stance. Adjust your hips, shake it out, push those heels down, lift those arms up, come into that extension. Come into that open pose, send the left arm forward, right arm back, open it up, see how that feels. Inhale the arms back up, exhale, um, right arm forward, left arm back into that revolved. Feel that stretch all the way through the body. <laughs> Inhale, come on up. Shake yourself out. Let it go. Shake it out. 
All right, let's do some balancing. Start with just some chair. We're already nice and warmed, a little bit of core activation. Go ahead, reach those arms up, sit on back down. Come into that chair pose. We're gonna stay here for two breaths, and then we'll inhale up and we'll go into the twist. So one more breath. And then go ahead, find some rest. Oh, not for long. Inhale those arms back up. Sit on back down. And then bring the left elbow to right knee. Come into the twist. Stay here for one more breath. Inhale up. Find that rest. Arms come up. Sit on down. Right elbow to left knee. Find this twist. Hang here for one more breath. Come on up. Oh, give some rest to your legs. Shake them out, shake them out. Come into our balancing. Let's go into tree pose. I'm going to plant the left. And then I'm just going to start with a kickstand and just rotate the ankle, open up the knee, make sure that my hip is ready for all of this. And then I'm going to lift my knee up and then open the hip out. You can put your foot anywhere. It can be up here. It can be down here. It can be kickstand here, but just don't put it on your knee. And I feel like right here today. This is where I'm feeling. Reach those arms up. Come into that tree. One more breath, nice opened balance pose. Bring that knee forward, drop it down, shake it out. Other side, plant the right, and then work out the ankle, add some movement. Open up the leg just a little bit more. And then and lift that knee and open on up. This one I'm feeling a lot higher. Uh, no, I'm going to stay where I was. Bring those arms in. One more breath. Bring that knee forward. Drop that foot down. Shake it out just a little bit. All right, let's go into... Um, Let's go into like warrior, uh, where are we going? We're gonna go, into, where do I wanna take you? How exciting. Um, grab a chair. I'm actually gonna do this with the chair um, just cause I legit don't wanna fall. Here's my chair. I'm gonna come into um, dancer pose. So find a prop chair if you have it. If you don't, and maybe you can just stand up and, and not need this at all. But what we're gonna do is grab the foot. So lift the, balance on the right, lift the left foot up. And then begin to find a forward fold, lifting the leg, bending at the hips, coming into this beautiful dancer pose. And I just want to go really deep into this stretch, so that's why I'm pulling my chair in, so that I can really bend and open. Otherwise, I would certainly fall over. drop the foot, come over to the other side. I'm just going to move myself a couple of steps and then I'm on the other side of my chair. And begin just by finding the foot. And then begin to find the tip and the hip. And begin to find that beautiful dancer stretch. Bring that leg on down. I think that was for selfish reasons. I totally just wanted to do that. I wanted that extra stretch in the back. <laughs> Not normally one that I bring in friends, so apologize for that. Let's do a couple of sun salutations and we'll find our way down to the ground. Inhale, reach up, lift those arms up. Extended mountain pose. Find some length. Exhale, hinge the hips, bend the knees if you need to. Find that forward fold. Let it go. Stretch out anything else here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, come down. Bring those hands down to the mat. Plank it out. Chaturanga this. Let's go. All the way down. 
Find that cobra, sphinx, whatever your body wants. And then back to that down dog. Walk it out, walk it up. One more time. Get up however you want and doing that reverse swan dive. Extended mountain pose. Bend the hips. Forward fold, relax. As I'm reminding myself as well, halfway lift. Find that strong back, let it go. Hands to mat. Plank it out. Exhale, take it down. Stand low this time. And find that way into that down dog or puppy dog. Maybe you're here. I think I want that right now. That was dolphin. That just felt so good. Sorry, I'm all over the place today. I said I had some, a lot of energy. <laughs> and now come on up. Bring those hands on down to heart center. Last time we're staying down on the ground this time. Inhale, arms up. Reach up. Exhale, forward fold. This time we'll stay down on the ground. When you make your way down, we'll do that um, series of cobra, sphinx, upward dog. So inhale, come up to low cobra. Exhale down. Bring those arms out a little bit. Come up into sphinx. Roll those shoulder blades back. Let's stay here for two breaths. So breathe through the stretch. Then on the next exhale, send your head the other way. We're going into upward dog, all the way up. Arms and elbows are almost locked, you know, don't lock them all the way. But hips are up off the ground. Stay here for one more breath. And then push on back to child's pose. Come up to the knees and then come back to child's pose. Extend the arms. Come into just a couple, or come on up into tabletop, and then we'll do just a couple of bird dogs. So find that beautiful tabletop, the balance there. And then if you know bird dog, you know we're going opposite arm and leg. I'm gonna reach up with the left, and then extend, reach up with the left arm, extend out with the right leg, and then vice versa. Inhale, reach up, find some length. Take one more breath. And then exhale, come down, other side. Right arm, left leg, inhale up, find some length. Take another breath, see if you can't find any more. Come on down, we're gonna do this a little bit quicker. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, opposites, exhale down. A couple more times. Find that length, look for that length each time. Inhale length, exhale balance. Two more times. Last one, make it count. Make a good stretch, get it good. All right, friends, come on back. Add a little relaxation to the back, back into that child's pose. Relax the back for a minute. come all the way back down to the belly. We're going into that Superman locust boat. Send those arms out in front. Find that extension and that length. One more inhale. Inhale, find it. Exhale, relax and release. Send the arms back towards the legs. Going into that locust. Inhale up. Reach for those toes. Exhale, relax. Do it again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, come down. Option to go into boat if you want. 
We do that by finding our feet, inhale up, find those toes, <laughs> and then find that stretch. One more inhale, and exhale down. Let's go ahead and roll on over, roll over to the back. Take a minute to just rest, find your rest, not for long. <laughs> come into that, um, come into a wind release, bring those knees up, bring a little comfort to your back. And then add a little rotation, start bringing those legs down and around, send the knees around. We'll go around three times and then we'll switch the other way. So whatever way you're going is fine. Just go the opposite way. One more time around. And then we'll switch direction. Whenever you find your way back, send the legs the other way or the knees. Continuing to breathe through the stretch. And come on back, drop those knees down. A constructive rest. Shake the shoulders, roll the shoulders down. Try to drop the shoulders. Let's come into bridge pose. Bring the hands down to the side, lift the hips. Lift the hips up. You can stay here. You can add a block. If you want that extra support, you can lift all the way up, whatever feels good for you. I like to have the block. And then I can decide how much pressure to put on it. I'm not having to hold myself up completely. No props are great. <laughs> One more breath, if you can stay there, exhale, drop it down. Let's go into my personal favorite, that pigeon, <laughs> supine pigeon. Bring your right ankle up to left foot or left thigh and begin to open up the hip. You can stay here if this is enough or bring the, the left thigh up and in. Pulling yourself in to yourself. I just love this. It's like probably one of my favorite postures. And exhale, come on down, unpretzel. Bring that left foot up to right thigh. And then open it up. Sometimes this is enough. Oftentimes this is enough. If you want, you can bring that right thigh up, opening up the hip even more. And then exhale, come on down, unpretzel. All right, let's do a little bit. Leg stretching, Send those, bring those knees up, bring the feet up, activate the core and then send the legs out. Holding here up above the ground for a couple of breaths. One more breath. And then bring the knees in. And then drop the feet down. Let's go into our um, last twist of this session. Go ahead and send the knees to one side. They're falling to the right today first. Drop those knees down. Find this last back bend. If you want, you can extend it all the way up by looking the opposite way. So staying here for one more breath.
bring those knees up and send them to the other side. Find the twist. Continuing to breathe. Bring those knees on up. Come on back. If you want to take happy baby pose, you can. Bring those little toes up. Find that toe. Maybe you find that little rock back and forth. And if you want, you can extend the legs. Open up. Ah, oh, falling. <laughs> wow, wow, help me. Come on back down to find whatever pose feels good for you. Might be here. Maybe you're all the way open in corpse pose, all the way stretched out. Spend a couple minutes with your breath. Continuing to breathe, coming back to your heart. a moment in gratitude for showing up for yourself today. Internal benefits of yoga, cleansing the blood. Take a couple more breaths of gratitude for yourself in this practice. Then when you're ready, begin to add some movement to your body. Take any additional stretch that you might need today. And my friends, that concludes our practice today. We're at 25 minutes, I'm not sure where I'm at. I can't see the computer at all. <laughs> I don't even know if you could see that last section. But we'll go ahead and sign off. It's probably pretty close to 25. That's our 25 minutes daily for the Trevor Project. Trying to bring awareness and services and acceptance um, to those in the LGBTQ community, especially our youth, um, who may feel like people don't understand or they don't love them or they don't accept them. But um, you are accepted and you are loved just the way you are. See you tomorrow.